The Pope travels to Geneva on June 21st to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the most important ecumenical institution that exists, the World Council of Churches. It represents 560 million Christians, gathering more than 200 confessions from 110 countries, including Orthodox, Anglicans, Lutherans, Baptists, Methodists, and others. It seeks to promote the unity of Christians while respecting the diversity of its members. They are the main promoters of the Week of Prayer for Christian Unity. This is a fellowship that we have decided to stay together, live together, and also work together. Not necessarily that you have, so to say, this is exactly what we think, we believe. We have a consensus that we are talking through each topic together to find out how we could move together as a fellowship. We are on a common mission for unity, justice and peace in the world. The Catholic Church collaborates with the World Council of Churches, but it's not part of it. It is considered an important forum for dialogue, but the Vatican individually talks with each church to build unity around the Pope as the successor of St. Peter. Despite this, the Holy See works as an observer in the committees of the World Council of Churches. The Roman Catholic Church is fully integrated in the different commissions. They are part of different programmatic work. We have a daily working relation. We started this collaboration uh, during the time of the Second Vatican Council with the foundation in 1965 with the uh, joint working group and since then we have developed so many different forms of collaboration and channels of collaboration that the Holy Father uh, wanted to to go to Geneva at this special occasion to say we are thankful to each other for the rich collaboration that we have developed during the 50 years, more than 50 years of our collaboration. The Pope will hold two ecumenical meetings. In the morning, there will be a greeting based on protocol. In the afternoon, during an ecumenical ceremony, there will be a more theological-based meeting. The visit is important because it is a visit of thanksgiving for 70 years of ecumenical work of the World Council of Churches and the Holy Father wanted to be a part of the celebrations to say that the Catholic Church also uh, uh, expresses its gratitude to the ecumenical work of the World Council of Churches. Uh, so this is uh, an important key to understand, to give thanks to God uh, for rich uh, contribution of the World Council of Churches to the modern ecumenical uh, movement. I think this is a golden opportunity to learn more about different traditions, also to pray together and also talk with other people. Before returning to Rome, the Pope will celebrate Mass for the Catholic community in a stadium with a capacity for 40,000 people. Pope Francis is the third Pope to visit the World Council of Churches. Paul VI went in 1969 and John Paul II in 1984. The principal fruit from the World Council of Churches is that it has established personal relationships that have radically changed the way Christians relate. This establishment helped them realize they were not enemies. The perception of each other has changed. Uh, Seventy years ago, many churches uh, considered each other as being enemies or competitors. Now we don't want to make any competition among uh, our churches. We want to, to develop collaboration instead of con uh, uh, competition. This is the Pope's exact ecumenical proposal. Accompany the theological dialogue through collaboration in themes such as solidarity, the fight against racism or care for the environment. From this collaboration, a new ecumenism could be born.